Welcome back, and today I want to go over Miza's Oasis and how best to use the instruments within this fight. So, at the start you see that I missed some notes, but that's okay because you can still hit them as the boss fight goes on and you can still end up with the haste and damage buff off of the notes, uh, which really just makes this boss fight so much smoother. Uh, I'd also like to address some of the mechanics. You'll see that he will cast Menacing Shout. This is an AoE that ignores all defenses. So you want to make sure that's interrupted. It will also uh, interrupt spell casters. Uh, suppression Spark happens here and you want to be able to use the horn and hit the notes. This is where the tank should have the horn because you can block the most damage from it. Another move you want to watch out for is crowd control. If you're standing on the wrong side of the big white barrier, you will end up getting clapped. Uh, you'll see that here with the mage who ends up putting himself directly in front of it and he is just deleted so make sure that you're not like the mage and planking on the floor you also want to make sure that the dps grab the instruments between the horn and the drums because the fact that it allows you to power slide this will allow you to get out of the suppression spark at the last moment as you can see i finally hit the remaining notes i need in order to max out my buff which you can see the 25 percent haste damage and healing received off of the buff uh, it's super useful and I was able to get it through the fight instead of before the fight, which I did purposely to be able to show that you can still hit notes during the boss fight to be able to keep the buff up, as well as be able to get the buff back to maximum if you manage to miss some notes. This is really a burn boss, so you just want to get all the notes at the beginning anyways and just focus the boss down as quickly as possible while avoiding the mechanics um, and just make sure to get the notes to like sustain the encore for a lack of better terms and uh, keep it going here you can see that it took too long before suppression spark was able to come back uh, that might have been a dps issue with the mage being down so i don't know if i would have been able to properly sustain the notes there but if he would have been up the boss probably would have been dead anyways so um yeah that's the basics on being able to hold the notes and keep the buff and now I'll move on to what it looks like to play the other instruments for DPS and the healer. For the DPS, you want to grab everything between the drums and the horn, and this will allow you to power slide. Whenever you start the first direction, it will repeat the other way, so you just want to do a 180 and hit the button again and slide forward, and it will only happen four times, and then you'll max out the haste buff. The only time that the tank should take the guitar is in hard mode, because when the other band comes back to fight y'all before the actual boss the person who plays the guitar will end up hitting really hard and you're not able to taunt them that's the only instance where the tank should take the guitar instead of the horn because the horn will end up putting the player inside a suppression spark which the tank will be able to resist versus a dbs especially as the keys start getting higher this will be the way that it should be played so during the boss fight this is what it will look like during suppression spark uh, it will pop underneath the boss and you're gonna want to have to power slide through him it's a kind of a tight window but it still gives you enough time to get out of the way if timed properly so the drums i think are the easiest one because you literally turn into drumsticks and you just aim them where the notes are you get two of them and if you put the notes in between the drumsticks it's like a perfect shot every time as well as you have an extra set of notes that you can miss and still be able to get the haste buff without worrying so there's a little bit more wiggle room with uh the drums as compared to other instruments real quick you can see that i press eject uh that's something that i feel like kind of gets overlooked I've seen a few healers die to sitting on the drums and then they get pummeled by crowd control. So it's good to know where your eject button is on your screen so therefore you can avoid mechanics. Uh, but other than that, drums are definitely the easiest to play and easiest to keep the notes on. Because during each suppression spark you end up getting a full set of notes which you can hit up to 5 so you can max out the haste buff again if you manage to lose it. 
So again, the drums are kind of the easiest as well as the best to be able to sustain the encore or whatever the buff is called. I just like calling it encore. But yeah, so here's an example of suppression spark while it goes off and being able to hit the notes. And you'll see that when you hit the first set, you'll start getting more. But I think if you miss the first set on the drums, you won't get any more notes that pop up. So it's kind of one of those, you, you kind of have to hit it, otherwise you kind of lose your star power. So really, just make sure you know where the eject button is so you don't end up getting smacked like the mage does here. I hop off and avoid it. I don't need to hit any more notes because I already have it maxed out and everything is fine. So this next part, I just kind of want to mention more about the trash. There's not too much that you need to know about them uh, other than the Oasis security will cast a menacing shout. That should be interrupted. And then the Oasis Patrons, which cast Hyperlight Bolt. That's pretty negligible, but they do cast Teleport, which will bring them away from everyone's AoE and can drag things out a little bit. So you want to try to interrupt them at that point to be able to bring them closer. But other than that, the trash is pretty simple and nothing noteworthy, unless it's hard mode and then there's a little bit niche stuff. Like, again, the tank should end up taking the guitar because the guitarist ends up hitting the hardest and the mobs are all untauntable. If people want to know about the hard mode fight, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video specifically for the hard mode and how to deal with the band properly. And here's a quick example of the Oasis patron casting teleport. They end up in the back corner of the screen there. Um, so you just have to interrupt them or chase them down and Otherwise, it's not that big of a deal, but that's the trash and the boss fights all together and how best to use your star power.